Dear audience, the shadowed Otaku has returned after his lengthy hiatus. Today we will continue the saga of Jinma's daughter with chapter 5. But first, we will review those things in which the shadow Taku was remiss. There was a visit to a onsen where Ronko collapsed from too much heat and was saved by a bodyguard and she got advised to never again stay in for more than 10 minutes or so because of how slight her frame was and she got reacquainted with a old friend of Nodoka's who she explained the fact that Jinma had kidnapped her and raised her as a boy out of some insane sense of manly pride, leaving out everything about magic and curses. She just wasn't ready to explain it to the world and didn't think she ever would be. There was also a thing where She wasn't sure which side of the bath or locker room to go into, and she <laughs> was just looking up this chapter on the internet and got reminded of its title, A Puzzle Put Together the Wrong Way. How could I forget that? There's a scene at the end of the chapter where Ronka makes a statement directly to that. <laughs> well, dear audience, the chapter begins with they've returned home. Nova once more pulled. Nadoka and Ronko are working together on cooking. It mentions that last chapter, too. That Nadoka uh, wanted to bond with her daughter by teaching her how to cook and such. After a bit, Akai approached Ronko and asked her about her martial arts practice. And we see that who Ronko is, really, isn't at all into martial arts. Some could argue that this is anathema to Ranma's nature that by becoming a borderline doormat, she's mad or submissive person. It's revealing that Saltomi Ranma that we know is a lie. And I understand the people who are upset or even offended by this. But nevertheless, I found the story very well put together. The problem Ronko has is that just by practicing the art, she thinks of her father. And at this point in the series, she does not want to think of him. Not in the least. But Akane talked to her until she was sure what she wanted to do with her life. She should continue to try keeping up her skills. And so they start to spar together. And for the first time, Ronko is taking her seriously. Even at times going all out and struggling to keep up with her. Which Akane notes and appreciates. Well, after a bit, it and they decide to visit Yukio's Okayami Yaki shop, 
You can't have a surprise like everyone who had wrong I was starting to live as a girl. And Tennis to offer your Yukio a chance to come along on a get together to the beach they're having in a bit. And Yukio is not sure she hasn't closed for a while and she used to keep her business going, but she hasn't had a vacation in years, so and it does sound like fun. And Ronko performs the singularly significant act of getting some money off her purse and offering it as payment for the food that she orders while there. And Yukio, who is used to Rama slash Ronko, all these getting things on the house was surprised and and then Ronko said and asked why Ronko with a serious face said I don't want to be like my father anymore I don't want to be a freeloader anymore Yukio's eyes Yukio was surprised smiled and gave the money back and said that Ronko was like family to her and she didn't charge family then thanked and hugged her. Well, they had a trip on the train that I can't find anything worth noting here. And Nodoka and uh, offered Nodoka offered Ranga a chance to sleep in her room mm -hmm. as she wanted, but Ranka refused. And Ronko is pretty much being a typical girl out on the beach wearing a swimsuit with her hair down. Of course, eventually Hibiki Ryoga shows up. Surprise, surprise. He sees Ranma in girl mode, dressed as a girl, and now talking like a girl. And he charges and says a bunch of stuff like, You're talking all the time about... How manly you are, but look at you looking like this. How manly are you? And seeing that. And when Ronka tries, uh, seeing that how out of shape she is, tries fleeing, Ryoga snarls, How can you call yourself a man? And Ronko's thinking, Well, it would be difficult. <laughs> but isn't able to accomplish anything. And a bit more happens, and. In the end, Ronka's too out of shape from not having practiced constantly to take Ryoga on, and Ryoga's able to to take Ronko down, and before Ryoga can do any serious damage, Akane and her friends, while he's malleted and given a dose of the of Yukio's spatula and a bunch of other stuff. And Sarah and Yuka come in too. Really at first is very skeptical. Sure that there was some kind of deceit going on. Then when there was the thing where 
they were saying, we learned something very important. And he said, you were dropped on your head when you were a baby. And it notes, if looks can be translated to reality, he would have been reduced to a pile of ashes. And they said, listen politely. Am I clear? It was, okay. Well, they all say, we don't mean like that. And it looks like this will be a two-part review. As I suppose the review deserves to be, this is a significant turning point in the series. He... He after he deserves Earth does not believe Rama when Ra- Rama slaps Rama when she explains that she's really a girl. Then when she says that she she reiterates it, he notes the eyes. Wait, but you're engaged. How can you stay engaged to a Kane? Nay, if you are both still girls, and I know that the homophobic, that the political correctness crowd could have a field day with that comment, but I'm not going to get into it, really. And when Ronco said explicitly, I'm not engaged to any of them anymore, the first thing Mom and Mother did when we met was to dissolve the engagements, Incidentally, that was the very first thing that I could do very angrily when she got reminded with wrong uh, in case anyone for that little detail. Then Nandoka sh- showed up. Then when Ronka and then, well, Ryoga just couldn't make kids or tales of it. How could Ronko's, uh, Rama's latest evil conspiracy to keep him away from Akane involve making her available to be someone else's fiance? It didn't make any sense! Does it? No, no, it doesn't! And so Ryoko was having a critical logic failure. And there, dear viewers, this section of this review is done.